all of the common wires have been connected now and you can go ahead I've done it on a couple of them here but you can go ahead and screw your sockets into the gang box I'm gonna lay it down and all of my commons I've got some wire nuts and it's always a good idea on a wire nut to go ahead and just tape them up once you put it together Just snip it off so it fits a little better. Put these three together. Tighten your wire nut up. As I say, a little tape is always a good idea. Just make sure that they don't come apart. Okay, same thing on the other side. And it's always a good idea, just give them a little, like that, <laughs> give them a little tug, make sure you got all three of them trapped in the wire nut. Okay, little tape. Now at the very top, these wires here are all going to connect onto my uh, plug that's 110 plug that's going to the wall the rest of them now uh, are going to be connected onto the 110 connectors here I'm going to go ahead first so and flip it back over and tighten up all the sockets and then I'll come back and install these all of my sockets I've snugged them down in there now they're not super tight because once you put your covers on, you'll probably have to move them around a little bit to get them to fit right. But they're all snug down. So now I'm going to go to the back side and we're going to connect up these 110 wires. Okay, the wire that has the little bend in it right here, so I knew which one was on top. I'm going to put that into the very first one. Sometimes these can be a little tricky to get in. Once you got it inside, then snug it down. Grab it with some needle nose so that it can't twist on you because you don't want to tear it loose from the soldered connections. Pull it down pretty tight. Make sure that it's in there good. Then the second one goes into the second relay. Now I'm back to the one with the little bend in it again, going into the third one. And just continue that pattern all the way down the board. So I'll be right back as soon as I get done doing that. All right, now we're going to be connecting our 110 voltage. Each one of the relays has to have a 110 going to it, and that'll be on all the time. So we're going to put uh, the wires on this set of relays right here. The other five I've already put together. And I'll show you how I did that. You have to start out with a five inch piece of wire. Strip about a half inch off each end of it. Like I said before, if you bend it in the middle, it's easier to hang on to. So we'll strip off about a half inch. Okay. Now we're going to put these on each relay. 
So just unscrew it till it goes in and tighten it back down. You don't have to be super tight, just good and snug. Give it a tug. If it don't come off, it's all right. Like I said before, be careful when you're tightening. Don't pull so tight that you pull these connectors loose. And should anybody have any question, these are high level uh, relays, which means that when the five volts that's coming in into these terminals over here coming from your computer or from the Arduino I mean when that 5 volts comes in that turns it on each relay makes a connection on the 110s okay there's all eight now these connectors I got from a local store uh, called Lowe's They're a six wire connector. I'm going to be using the three bottom ones and the middle one to connect four of these together. And all you do is push them in. And you can see the wire through the uh, transparent top right here so you know that the wire is all the way up in there. So I'm going to put the three in the bottom. And then I'm going to put the last one here on top in the middle. Okay. Let's do that on both sides. Okay. Now it takes a three inch piece of wire. I'm going to bend it and strip it off. And you're going to connect the two. So I'll use the top one on the one side and top one on the other. All right, those are connected now. Now I'm going to connect one set to the next so that these are all connected to a 110 power supply. The first one I'm going to use is about 18 inches or so. It just simply has to match up with these others here for the 110. So I'm going to put this one on the top side here. And those three will connect to my power cord. Now I'm going to connect the outside one there. Bring it down and connect it to the outside one here. Do the same on the next one. Gonna connect it. This time I'll bring it around to the other side. And it doesn't matter what order you do this in, just so long as they all end up together. Connect one here. These are all about 12 inch pieces of wire. And the last one. All right. Now I've got my power cord here. It's just an old computer cord that I've cut off. 
Now I'm only using one power supply on this because all of my Christmas lights are LEDs. So they use very little amperage. If you're still using the old filament type uh, bulbs in your light display, you might want to split these and just have one power supply coming off one side and then another power supply coming off the other. That way you might not have any problems with heat building up on you. But for my use, like I say with the LEDs, all I need is one. On the power cord here, we've got a black one, which is your 110 power, white one, which is your common, and a green, which is your grounds. So I'll connect the green onto the bare copper wires. All right, connect the common here to the white one. And the black one to the power. All right. I'm going to tape these together and just keep them from being able to pull out. Okay, I'm just going to bend these down here out of the way. So let's start hooking up our Arduinos.